traders from around the world. What's going on? It's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom with reallifetrading.com. This is going to be a pretty quick review because I just did one earlier and then my computer crashed and I lost all of it. <laughs> so I got the afternoon trading room in about, uh, I don't know, 18 minutes or so. So let's fly. Honestly, there's nothing really to update on the SPY, the broad markets. A lot of volume, very small gap down. Yes, looks a little bit like an evening star reversal, but it's a very weak one. This was a retest gap anyway. So if it retests, uh, cool. Other than that, we're kind of bullish to neutral. SPY, Dow Jones, right? Nice little gap down, but again, got bought up. Uh, so buy the dips, is, that's the same thing. Nothing really changing, IWM, a little bit bearish, but again, buy the dip on that and the Qs. Looks like a little bit of a stair step pattern. So option expiration was today. Shout outs to all of those traders who had option expiring today. However, uh, however you had it, if it was put sales, credit spreads, condors, however you did it, congrats. There was a lot of you out there, got a lot of good emails and messages, got some good vibes. Uh, here's my good buddy, John Wheeler. Gonna scroll up, where are you, John? John, John. Where's, uh, there's so many good chats in here today. I think it was, it was later in the afternoon. Later in the afternoon, where you go, John? I could probably just search. There it is. John got American Airlines, Momo, Netflix, NVIDIA, OLED, and Tesla all expiring worthless today. Um, fantastic stuff, man. I love it. So let's uh, go talk really quick about real life trading swag. Boop. There's the link right there. If you guys want to purchase, uh, these have sold out. So there are no more of those. Um, I do not believe. And uh, hey. I warned you, they were awesome. So these two, if you want these two, the link just popped up. You should still be able to access. If you want to access and, and get some real life training swag, feel free to snag one uh, or two or as many as you want. And uh, if you post a picture of you wearing those and uh, send it to me on social media, I'll reward you in some form or fashion. Maybe I'll even give you some frequent trader points. Huh? Huh? All right, let's look at some broad market stocks that were requested today, uh, Tesla. And a bull put spread on Tesla expiring today, 280, 275 bull put spread. Neil's had a put sale. Uh, Julian has a bull put spread expiring not too far away. So Julian, congrats, man. Looks good as of today. Phil requested Sears, circuit symbol SHLD. Uh, Sears did what Sears does, gaps up and trades down. Very strong bullish gap on Sears though. So my thought is one of two things. If we form some bullish candles like this and roll over, look to trade Sears bearish again. Uh, if we trade up, bounce, and then continue higher, well, if you want to play Sears bullish, feel free to. Uh, here's the weekly chart. There's a lot of bullish volume coming in down here on Sears. I will say that. There is a lot. So is this the time where it's going to start finally picking up, maybe forms a double bottom and continues higher? Uh, we'll see. I've seen crazier things happen. I doubt it, but it's possible. Here's Hertz, ticker symbol HTZ. This one, so good. Here's a double bottom on Hertz, and uh, shout out to my buddy Tommy Manet for calling this one back in June uh, when we had the open house week. Here's a double bottom, gorgeous double bottom. We set this trade up in the afternoon trading rooms, and we missed getting triggered in by two American pennies. Two cents. Missed out on all of that. So, too bad. We hit the resistance now. Uh, Hertz obviously could roll over and start channeling. That's absolutely a possibility. Will it happen? Uh, we'll see. Uh, the 1751 price, I derived that from this wick there, there, and za. So now we're here. Obviously, if we trade sideways and break out above here, I'd be a little bit more bullish. Next target would be the 200 simple moving average, uh, which is at right about 20 bucks and some change. So that's Hertz. Here is PTLA. PTLA have a trader requesting this one. Here's the weekly chart on PTLA. And wow, we are at all time highs and we have increased, oh, almost 400% in a year. So yeah, this thing needs to pull back a little bit. So if I had some shares of this particular stock, which I don't, but if I did, um, honestly, today's candle was a little bit bullish for sure, but this angle is pretty unsustainable. Um, this angle that we have for the moving averages, it's parallel to the moving averages. So at some point in time, it's gonna snap back into those. So if I personally did have shares of this stock, I would probably put my stop below the low of today, um, right there, or at least below the low of yesterday's candle, 
And then if it does this, I get trailed out and then I look to buy again, preferably around 60 on the dip. Very strong trend, the trend is your friend for sure. Here is SHW, just wanna shout out to the only person in the stock, uh, to my knowledge, Troy Beinhauer over there in, where are you now, Troy? You used to be in Baltimore, I don't know where you are now. Anyway, SHW, Sherwin Williams, he had a bear call spread, made a little bit of money on that trade. Congrats, here's ticker symbol SQ and Square, woo dog it. Square tearing it up. Some traders making some solid money on Square. This is one of uh, this has been one of my favorite stocks since uh, its IPO, really. And uh, just I like the company and I like what it does. I like it fundamentally and I like it long term. Probably one of the top ten, uh, definitely top ten, probably even top five biggest holdings of real life traders out there is Square Incorporated. Um, in fact, here's a really awesome testimony. Got to give a shout out to my amazing friend, Justin. Where are you, Justin? Um, there he is. Justin says, paid off my daughter's braces today. Thank you, Square, Netflix, and PBY. Congrats, man. That's huge. Love it, love it, love it. Wonderful news. That is the epitome, uh, also known phonetically as the epitome. That is the epitome, my man, of uh, trading in real life, making some money, and rewarding yourself and your family. I love it, man. Keep it up. Next target on Square, 3147. Today is a new white soldier. So if we make a higher high and a higher low, the trend is bullish. Buy the dip. Be smart about it and uh, keep rocking and rolling. Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. Chris requested this one. Bank of America is actually pretty simple. Um, it is at a rock solid resistance. This 2416. Personally, I would love to see Bank of America roll over back down to here and bounce. Otherwise, watch for this double bottom to come in place. If it does not double bottom and we close below the earnings candle, which was just a few days ago, I'll personally expect more of this to come in where we actually trade down. Now that might not happen, of course, but if it does, it'd be a good buy low, sell high opportunity. And last but not least, I uh, got a text message. Actually, I forgot the stock. Uh, let me go look through this really quick. So I get text every now and then. I got my uh, cell phone posted out there somewhere on the internet. And I know exactly where actually. And uh, get some traders every now and then posting. Uh, Don, yes, Don texted me today. Actually a few other traders as well. So if you're watching this and you text me about this stock, congratulations. Um, so here is AEZS. Yeah, so let me go ahead and read you what this one doing. Uh, he goes, hey, hey man, I'm Don. After watching your videos on Gaps last night, I made 150 on AEZS this morning on the Gap. Uh, you have boosted my knowledge so much with simple lessons. Thanks a lot, man. So Don, congrats, buddy. Well done, number one. Number two, for the other trader who texted me about AEZS on this day with this phenomenal bullish gap and go, congratulations. Uh, really, really just gorgeous gap. I, of course, did not trade that one. Uh, I did trade today very well. I traded like Michael Phelps swims. Here's Con not Conoco Phillips. Actually, before I hop over to Conoco Phillips, let's talk about Chipotle really quick. Ticker symbol CMG. Uh, so CMG, a uh, trader posted, not uh, trader, I'm sorry, just a person in general. A person in general <laughs> posted a video yesterday of uh, some rats running around one of their uh, Dallas or at least one of their Texas uh, restaurants and I don't know much about the business uh, of restaurant owning but I do know this if your store has rats people won't like to eat there so CMG uh, doing doing this today <laughs> we were kind of making that joke all afternoon in the trading rooms uh, had a few traders in Lily asked me uh, earlier this week if she was gonna trade at bearish beautiful breakdown on that day glorious retest flawless rollover so good on the hourly chart feel free to investigate that play on the hourly it was just so so clean uh, so from here earnings are right around the corner i do expect it to gap down that's when everyone goes oh i'll go bearish on chipotle now and then it trades higher retesting correct this is a weekly chart so it's going to retest maybe this old resistance new support and then possibly roll over We'll see, that's what I'm keeping my eyes on. Okay, let's go hop back over here to COP, uh, I'm sorry, ConocoPhillips. Nope, Capital One Finance. Come on, that's what we traded. Capital One, phenomenal bullish gap and go. Looks so pretty. Trapping all the people who shorted. Yesterday we made a lower low and a lower high. I pulled this gap up and I went, yes. Here's the five minute chart. This is the only thing that we traded today. I should say the only thing we got filled on. I did try a few other trades. Here's the resistance. And this was very simple, folks. Here's exactly how we played this one. Old resistance, right? Pre-market high. It broke out 
I set up a limit buy to buy there and I set my stop below some lows. Stop was right here. Limit buy, boom, boom, boom. And I did not know that trade was gonna work. In fact, if you were in the morning trading room today, uh, you would you would kind of hear me freak out a little bit as uh, as this candle came in right there. I was like, no, we're gonna lose on this. And then the very next candle came out, I was like, woo. And then this candle, I said, okay, it needs, if this bullish candle can close above this wick, above this wick and above this resistance, I'll continue holding. Otherwise, I'm gonna get out for break even. It's exactly what I say, because I don't trade bullish that well. Uh, even though my last two winning trades have been bullish. Interesting. Anyway, Capital One Finance got 2R on it at 8.12R on the month. Got an entire week next week to trade with each and every one of you. Brad's on a little bit of a vacation. So for those traders who are in the morning room, I'll be there all day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday of next week. If you're not in the morning room, I know where you can sign up. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for tuning in. I got eight minutes in time in the afternoon swing trading room where I get to do this all again for another 60 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, you rock. I will see each and every one of you later. Have a fun weekend. And until then, remember, love life, love life, and trade. Bye.